Hi, this is a wee short one. My kids have told me that apparently on YouTube you only get, you get more traction, no, more views and all that kind of jazz if you do short videos. I don't do short videos. I talk a lot. I do loads of talking all the time, but I'm going to try. So let's, the, the shortest one I could think of was literally to read the back covers of my books and then see what happens. Okay, so first book, all right? <laughs> First book, Dangerous Normal People, Understanding Casanova Psychopaths and the Narcissistic Virus by L.W. Hawksby. That's me, by the way. Okay. This memoir will take you on a remarkable and sometimes dark journey through a young woman's two very dis different domestically abusive relationships. With her experience laid out in diary form, spanning November 2013 to early June 2016, the author reveals the subtle and not so subtle red flag behaviours of Casanova psychopaths, malignant codependents and the common narcissist. The reader will also learn about the narcissistic virus and discover how sometimes victims can be so broken by NPD abuse that sometimes the only way to survive is to burn all your bridges and walk into the fire with the devil himself. The author did not escape unscathed. She suffered the narcissistic virus, gained criminal convictions, and still displays many CPTSD symptoms. This is an honest and impactful insight into her journey. This book is designed to be mainly educational, so will suit not only victims and survivors, but also professionals interested in making judicial, social care, and health systems better. That's dangerous normal people. Amazon, Waterstones, and 30 other sites. The Notch, which was my, sec my second book and first novel, also explores uh, personality disorder abuse and violence. An unsettling supernatural thriller, The Notch is based in the stunning countryside of rural Wales. It closely explores infidelity, domestic abuse, murder, and the painful intricacies of being forced to face our demons, quite literally. In life, Alice was sweet, loving and trusting, but had her own secrets and plans. In death, Alice is calculating, self-aware and vengeful. She links up with Serena and they make a powerful force to be reckoned with. Serena is battling grief, betrayal trauma and alcohol dependency. Her pre-existing psychic abilities skyrocket when Alice appears and some terrible secrets come out. Michael appears to be just an average middle-aged man with a penchant for chinos and collared shirts. But behind his bland exterior, he is always plotting something dark or worse. Dylan works hard and has a kindness in him that's rare, but he's strayed from Serena and has caused her unimaginable pain. But his story of betrayal has layers and he is far more complicated than you can imagine. Will Alice get her revenge? Will Serena get what she desires? Will Michael be found out? And will Dylan get the love of his life back? Well, it all depends on fate, karma, serendipity, and good old-fashioned belief. And my third book, which is going to be and is already most controversial, is The Forgivers Club, also by me under my author name, L. W. Hawksby. That's called The Forgivers Club. On Christmas Day 2016, Lola waits for Jamie to fall asleep and quietly but quickly gathers the clothes that she hid the night before while he showered after abusing her yet again. She's not a child though, she's a grown woman and after discovering that Jamie has continued his affair with the woman who has stalked her relentlessly for the last three years, Lola has finally had enough. Lola drives through a snowy sunrise into a different country. She has no plan. She has nothing but her beloved dog, her little car, and rage in her belly. By lunchtime, she finds herself in the secluded village of Bridgefell in Cornwall. It's beautiful, nestled in a sandy cove and overlooked by dramatic cliffs that hold the potential for peaceful walks with the new friends that she hopes to make. Yes, things are going to be okay. A few months later, Lola is handcuffed, being swabbed for DNA, and shaking with shock and fear. She's about to sign the sex offenders register. What in all holy hell happened to Lola? If you have an interest in how criminals are made, Lola will take you on a shocking and all too real journey of abuse, toxic friends and addictions that you'll never forget. The Forgivers Club 
a place to share your deepest secrets in safety and comfort. But how safe is it? And what if your deepest secret is one that could get you killed? So that's my three books uh, written and released in the last 18 months. Uh, not for profit, haven't broken even, haven't paid off the cost of editing and covering and printing and formatting the books yet. So you're not funding the pockets of a criminal or an ex-offender, you're learning. So yeah, have a look for them. Two of them have sat in bestseller status in America and the UK. One needs a wee nudge. Um, but yeah, there you go. Thank you.